Republican Democrats are running for Dorchester County Council District 1 seat. The position was most recently held by Councilman Willie Davis until he passed away earlier this year. News News Dorchester County reporter Stetson Miller speaking with people in the area about changes they want to see. Hey, candidates have been out here campaigning all day across the county from here in St. George to down to parts of Somerville. They're all vying to be the Democratic candidate on the ballot in November for Dorchester County Council District 1. Residents got out to the polls today for a special primary election for the Dorchester County District 1 Council seat. It was previously held by Willie Davis since 1991 until his passing earlier this year. Residents say there are some big shoes to fill. That's one of the reasons why I came out. I just hope we can find someone that can continue his legacy and fill his shoes. About 13,000 voters make up the district, which includes much of the western part of the county and parts of the Somerville area. According to county officials, voter turnout has been low so far. But typically, statistically, uh, turnout is usually less than 10% for these special elections. There is only one GOP candidate running in the district, William Cadall, so he's not on the ballot until November. Four people are running to be the Democratic candidate today. Not all of them were available to speak, but some told me about their priorities for this election. Making sure our senior citizens and our citizens are safe, that's my priority. I want to make sure to bring, um, to bridge the gap between the upper and the lower counties, to make sure I hear the voices of all the citizens of Dorchester County. My top priority is improved services for all citizens, support education and school safety, plan growth for Dorchester County. Some residents said they want a candidate who will look out for the upper part of the county. We need somebody to kind of look out for this end because Somerville is getting everything down there now. <laughs> but it got to move this way because there's no room left in Somerville. The polls are open until 7 p.m. And if needed, there could be a runoff election here on September 11th. In St. George, Stetson Miller, count on two.